hi guys hope you are doing good and today I'm gonna show you how to create a parallax website using HTML and CSS so this is a example which I am showing you now this is a kind of parallax website so we will be creating this kind of uh, parallax website in this video uh, when you scroll down you will see the background images are fixed and you can see the different sections of the website of this web page so this is just example of parallax website now we'll see how we can create this kind of parallax website using HTML and CSS so let's get started we'll close now and if you want some free stock images then you can visit this wonderful website called Pexels here you can find a bunch of uh, free stock images as you can see here and you can download and you can use inside your project it is of free no need to worry and no copyright issues as well so I have downloaded three images and I have created one folder in my local host and I have in the put these three images inside this images folder so now we'll see now we'll uh, create HTML part of this parallax website first we'll take div and with the class b image one right I'm using this in a emit abbreviation when you hit div when you go uh, type div when you give dot it means the class B text when you hit tab it just creates a div with the class B text if you don't know about Emmet then you can uh, watch my video on Emmet extension which I have shown you in my previous tutorial so don't forget to watch that video so I have taken this let's take a span tag and let's give the class border right hit tab it will create a span with the class border now we'll give parallax effect inside this span tag right below this div tag I'm gonna create a section with the class section light hit tab it will create a section and inside this section I'm gonna use h2 tag uh, h2 tag and I'm gonna give section 1 and below this I'm gonna use one p tag and I'm gonna say lorem it's a dummy text it's a dummy content when you hit uh, when you type lorem and when you hit tab it will create a dummy content for you right it is not creating let's try one more time lorem right it is creating now so let's remove this two lines right it's a dummy content uh, I'm gonna copy this section this div tag and I'm gonna paste here in uh, underneath the section 1 and I'm gonna say bg2 right and I'm gonna copy this section and paste it here underneath this bg2 div tag and I'm gonna say it's of dark right let's copy this div one more time and let's give it here and let's say bg3 let's change this to section 2 right and we'll see now we'll uh, change the content of this div tag and we'll uh, type image to text right or you can give second image text inside this div tag and here you can give third image text right and I'm gonna copy this one more time this section and I'm gonna paste it here 
and let's keep it as dark right uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this uh, first div tag and I'm gonna say I'm gonna tie I'm gonna paste it here in underneath the last section let's give the section class to all sections so that we can easily define our CSS right let's give to all sections here let's save this and let's run the let's see the preview of this inside the browser it looks ridiculous now I'm just joking it looks ridiculous because we don't apply any CSS to this so now we'll create a CSS for this HTML inside the style.css I'm gonna give CSS for body and HTML first obviously right uh, let's say the margin should be zero because I don't want any margin in the body and the height should be hundred percent it should be zero and the font size should be 16 pixels you can give anything here and for font family uh, I'll use Lato Lato Sans Serif right and what more you can give uh, we can give the line height as well right the line height in my case I'm giving 1.8 em uh, let me see this first yeah I have a CSS copied here in another file I'm using this color right color should be 666 the ladder should be in caps right so let's save this and let's use the background classes right BG image 1 the background image background image images because I have used that image you can see here this is the path which we need to give inside single quotations not in not in double quotations uh, let me see the image name first yeah this is my image I'll copy this name and I'll paste it here and for the I will copy these three divs right let's change this to bg2 and this to bg3 and 2 and the last one is 3 let's right so let's save this and let's see the preview inside the browser yeah it is showing now the images are appearing right so now we can uh, give some CSS to all three background images classes right BG image 1 BG image 2 BG image 2 and the next one is BG image 3 this right the position should be relative obviously and the background size should be cover and the background position should be center right and for parallax effect oh, we need background attachment property and that should be fixed right and if you are using scroll then you cannot see the parallax effect I'll show you here right 
we'll copy this CSS and we'll paste it here inside our style.css folder and also the comment is written here the fixed equals to parallax scroll means it is normal right position is relative and we also kept the opacity to 0 0.70 and the background repeat should not we say we have set it to no repeat the image should not repeat and the attachment is fixed for parallax effect let's hit let's refresh this we are not seeing any parallax effect now because the text is not appearing on this image we'll see the text part now so let's give some CSS to section class text align should be center and the padding should be 50 pixels and it should be 80 pixels from the left and right right the, sec the text is appearing in the middle and we will use the colors now for section light I have colors here for section light the background color should be hash f4 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 background color this one and the color should be this one which we have used inside the body tag right and for the section light for the section dark we have two sections inside our HTML as I have shown you background color should be this one 2A to E34 right and the color should be equals to this one which is little bit dark hash ddd let's save and let's hit refresh now it is appearing and it is in light gray color as you can see here the section 1 and the section 2 is in dark and the last one is also in dark we'll change this text to section 3 section 2 and this should be the section 3 right and we will see we will use epicop my channel name here right let's hit refresh now you can see the the parallax effect the images are attached in the background and the text is appearing when we scroll down we can see the different sections of the page right and even it should be responsive we will minimize the browser yeah it is responsive the section and the text is also responsive images are appearing but it is in the scroll uh, effect right for mobile phones which I'll show you later at the ending of this video now we will use we will use some CSS to the text and the border part right for this I have the P text here. In my case, we have B text. Right, the position should be absolute and the top 50%. Right, and the width is 100%. We will use this CSS inside this P text. B text, sorry. Right the indentation should be good because other developers can read right text align center and the color is 000 and we have set the font size to 27 pixels letter spacing 8 pixels and text transform should be uppercase right you can see here some text but we need some more CSS so for this we need to use border class as well right the border class we will use this CSS and we'll copy here and we'll see the text part 
what I have done here is the background color is 111 and the color is white FFF and padding is 20 pixels let's save and refresh this yeah you can see here epic op text third epic op text uh, image one two third image text oh so it is not appearing here let's hit refresh now we'll apply some more CSS the background should be transparent right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this two sections text should be transparent so I'll use section 1 inside this element oh, I'm not getting that part yeah here we'll use this trans class and below this we have another class trans right we'll save now the text is appearing what I'm gonna do is yeah section 1 2 3 and the last one so this is just we have we can remove this text from here and we'll see second epic op text this yeah this one is uh, appearing from the section which is this section and the D is not visible but the website is parallax right so this way you can use you can use HTML and CSS to create parallax website hope you understand and hope you enjoy it and hope you like this video you can use this code I'll put it on github and you can use this code but don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like and share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching this video I'll create one more video on uh, the font awesome icons uh, how we can play around with the uh, font as awesome icons and how we can animate the font awesome icons in the next video so don't forget to watch my previous tutorials on ionic and also on asp.net core mvc so this way you can create parallax web page uh, i cannot say exactly this is a par parallax website but uh, it is a it is a kind of parallax website you can use uh, images and the images are fixed in the background and the text is visible and we can see the different sections of the page easily right so also I'm gonna show you how you can give uh, the scroll effect the scroll effect inside the mobile screen which is uh, less than uh, 568 pixels so I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna use inside my style.css what I'm doing here is I'm using uh, these three divs bg image 1 image 2 and image 3 and I'm atta and I'm uh, saying that background attachment should be scroll it should be normal so let's save and let's re hit refresh and let's preview this in the mobile screen right this one is in the scroll effect the parallax effect is not appearing inside this inside the mobile view it is showing normally right but in desktop it is showing the parallax effect hope you understand and hope you like it thanks for watching this video I'll see you in the next video